am Inez Alea from ForwardCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to recreate the intro from Netflix in Cinema 4D and then we'll finish it off in After Effects. So let's open up Cinema 4D and get started. Alright, so here we are in Cinema 4D and if you want to follow this tutorial I really encourage you to watch the previous tutorial in Illustrator where I create the logo that we're going to use uh, in Cinema 4D. I also explain how to export it for Cinema 4D so be sure to check that out if you don't know it. Uh, so I'll go to file and open my logo here so I have it right here, C4D and you will see that it has a scale of 1, connect these splines, click OK. Now we can see right here we have our text and it's curved like this. Click on the null and go to coordinates and just zero this out so it's completely centered. And there we go. Now let's go right over here and add an extrude. Place one of the pads to the extrude and click on the extrude. Go to object and just increase the depth just a bit like so. I think this looks okay. Then go to caps and start cap to fillet cap and the end cap also to fillet cap and change the radius to 1. If we zoom in let's see if we like this alright we have a nice bevel. We can copy this extrude to copy paste control C control V and delete the pad that's in there and then we're going to count how many pads we still need so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so we can copy the extrude 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven now we can just drag all the path in there there we go we can delete the null here and select everything or before we select everything and uh, go to MoGraph and add a fracture object select everything and drag it into that fracture object close it down maybe rename it to tolerate it so you know it's about the title and then add a camera. Jump into the camera, go to the coordinates of that camera and zero everything out for the rotation, the X, and then drag down the Y until your text is centered, like so. Go to the beginning of your timeline, change your timeline maybe to 100 frames, and just zoom out a little bit, so something like this should work. Click on the keyframe for your camera depth, then go to the end of your key, um, timeline, and then zoom out. And there we go. And click again on that keyframe. Now we have this small animation of our text flying away of our camera. Great. So now we'll add a plane. So go to the primitive objects and add a plane. Rotate it. So click on the rotate tool and on the X rotation, hold shift and drag it out until we have 90 degrees. Jump out of your camera and then we're going to. Um, position this plane just behind our text like so. Scale it up. So if we uh, get into that camera we can uh, increase the size of our plane a little bit and now we have our text right there. Create a new material right now so uh, we're going to call this background and make it white. Go to reflectance and delete the default specular and add a backman channel. We're going to add like 30 uh, roughness, um, maybe something like 50 reflection. This should be be fine. Go to Fresnel and then go for a Delectric Milk. And there we go. So now we have our first material. We can apply this to the background. Duplicate our material and rename it to text. And actually it can be the same. So apply that to the fracture object. Okay, so we have our text right here against our wall. And now we can go to the fracture object, go to object, and make sure you have explode segments here in the mode. Go to MoGraph effector and add a plane. Uh, and then we're going to zero this out and just make sure we don't see it anymore. Like so. Go to fall off, make a box, increase the size of our box. And now, until it's covering the complete text, you can actually make this a little bit smaller if you want more fatter. And then if we're going to animate it like this, our text is going to appear like in the Netflix logo. So we are going to click on the plane and go to the beginning of our timeline, click on the keyframe here, um, well on the key to create a keyframe, go to frame 20 and move it to the right until we see the complete text and click again on that keyframe. So now we have this animation with our camera zooming, out, uh, zooming in, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, at frame 59. So let's drag over there with the previous frame. So go to frame 59 and here I will go to the fracture object, go to the uh, coordinates and click on the stopwatch, well on the little button here for our Z position, then go to frame 60 and I'm going to increase this number until we don't see our text anymore. So let's jump out of the camera to see if we're doing a great job here. I think this works. All right. Let's see what we have right now. And actually, we don't want it to disappear completely. Uh, we want it still to be visible to the camera. Just enough so we can actually uh, create this in a red flat color. So decrease that number. And there we go. I think this should work. Let's see if we play it, if it's uh, flickering or not. Maybe decrease. All right, I didn't create a keyframe, so that's uh, my mistake. So 150 and uh, 15, um, and click on this button so we have a keyframe. And if we're going to play this, you can still see it. Make it 104. And let's see if we just change the color of our text, just so we can see it. And it's not enough. So just make sure that you can actually see your text. And there we go. Create a new keyframe and it's flickering here. So make sure it's coming out enough. So maybe 100 should be fine. Still flick, flickering. Okay, there we go. So now it's not flickering anymore. And we have 3D text that slaps, slams into 2D text. Okay, so go to frame 60 um, and we can go into our color here and create a keyframe for our red color. So click on this button, go back to 59 and change it back to white and click on that button again. And now we have white text slamming into the red 2D text uh, like in the Netflix logo. Okay, great. So now we have this and uh, go back here to um, add a physical sky. We're going to the basic options and load a sky preset. I will choose this sky here. And if we're going to render this out, you're going to see that we already have some shadows right here. We want these shadows to be um, 45 angle degree, <laughs> 45 degree angles. So uh, go to the sky, go to the rotation tool, drag it like so, and maybe also drag it a little bit on the X so we have longer shadows. So render this out and see what we have. Okay, they can be a little bit longer even. So go back, increase that number. And let's see what we get. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, but as you can see, our title is still too blue, our background is still too blue. So let's change that up. Go to the sky and change the color here to white. Well, almost white, like so. Same thing for this one. And then in the middle, we'll make it gray with like a light blue tone to it something like this. If we render this out, we now have a soft shadow because the middle tones are actually our shadows and everything apart from that are just going to be white. So there we have it. If we go back to the render settings, we can actually add an effect called ambient occlusion, change this uh, array to 50 and change the color to a light, well, mid gray color. So we can actually define uh, the connection between our text and the background. And you can see it right here already. And um, it's defining it a little bit more. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so our text is readable, and if we're going to see the animation, we uh, have it popping up, slams into the 2D. That's actually all we need to do. So go back to our render settings, go to output, and select all frames. Also change it to a physical render engine, and we're going to save it. So uh, just make sure it's um, something like PNG 16-bit channel. We don't need an alpha channel because it's actually uh, with a background, background, so that doesn't matter. And we're going to give it a location and just hit save and render it out. So click on this button, it starts rendering out. I already had it. Um, but just render it completely out, then jump into After Effects. I will just 
cancel this. And here we are going to import our file. So click import, drag it in here in our composition. So I have it here, my text flying out of my wall and then slamming into the red here. And now we have a 2D text uh, like so. So what I did is actually create it, uh, well, go to comp settings and made it five seconds long. Right click time, enable time remapping. And actually right here, I will create a keyframe. And then around right here, I will create another keyframe. Place this keyframe more towards uh, the other keyframe. So we have a slow beginning, it fast, well, at a fast rate, it slams into the red and then it slows down again. And just make sure uh, to enable frame blending right here. So um, the last part isn't stuttery or jittery and that's it. So um, maybe make this also a little bit longer and we'll see if, uh, if we like it. Okay, let's preview this. Okay, so play around with the time remapping a little bit. Then I will add a Lumetri color effect. So Lumetri color, add that to our layer and just go to vignette and add an amount of a negative value. And there we go. So now we have a nice vignette, add some feather to it. Decrease the midpoint maybe. Now we have that nice vignette uh, like in the preview. So that's it, I've, that's all I've done. Uh, you can play around a little bit more with things in uh, Cinema 4D. But this is basically on how to create that intro. It's uh, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.